Gemini, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we are going to be pulling some messages that are going to uncover some money blocks you may be experiencing at this time. If you do have a certain amount of money you're looking to manifest into your life or a specific person, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet checked him out, he is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, what we are seeing here when it comes to um, some energy blockages is there is a lot of overthinking the outcome from a logical place that's very divine masculine energy. Uh, and we want you to connect more to the divine feminine and divine masculine, synchronize those together so that you are able to reach a higher timeline, which really means you're able to focus more on the best case scenario, right? Instead Instead of staying in the same energetic frequency timeline as maybe not such a, the, the worst case scenario or a scenario that is currently happening. See, if you're here in this timeline and you want to get to higher results or better results in your life, if you keep, if you're here and you keep thinking, well, this is happening, this is happening. How am I ever going to make it happen? When's it going to come? You're keeping yourself energetically in the same timeline. We want you to raise your frequency or increase your time, increase, increase your frequency and, and expand, but that means you're going to need to focus on the better case scenario or the higher timeline. You see now that's only possible when we are feeling grounded and when we are overthinking, it is the insinuation we are ungrounded, right? And so that's why universe is saying it would be time to get out in nature, go for a walk. If you're overthinking, uh, consume some protein, clean protein, right? Um, uh, cleanse your energy, be mindful about, you know, the consumption because what we put into our bodies. We are oils stay in our bodies, right? Those synthetic oils really stay in our bodies. Anything fake, right? Processed foods, right? It's very toxic. We're unable to hear our channels more easier, right? And when we are unable to hear our channels and when, when or, or observe and sense our channels of communication, um, we are unable to command our energy and everything in this game of life is about commanding. And so what we want you to do is command your energy now and down in the comments below, write this as your affirmation for the day. I invite wealth into my life. I invite wealth into my life because when we command our frequency, then what happens is we are saying to ourselves, if you're here and you're saying, I invite wealth into my life, right? You're commanding that into being Then all of a sudden your awareness is going to be on things that will help you experience more wealth in your life. So all of a sudden that bag of chips you were consuming, isn't going to feel so good anymore because you're realizing, well, wait a minute, this doesn't make me feel good. And in order to unblock wealth or in, and unblock money, and in order to unblock love money and love is the same frequency, by the way. So if you're looking for either or or it's the same blueprint, right? You've got to feel the immense amount of joy in your frequency. But if you are consuming things, thinking of things that leave you feeling in a lower frequency, you won't get to that higher timeline. It won't be possible because your divine intuitive, you, your channels will be blocked. You can't see it. And then that goes, that means that your divine masculine energy will take over, right? And your divine masculine energy will go for the worst case scenario, right? The logical mind, because the logical mind says, how am I ever going to make this possible when this is all I know. This is my experience. We're unable to see past what we know. That's what the divine, the power of the divine feminine does for us is, um, is being able to psychically, right? Pick up off of what we truly want for our lives and where our lives have the, um, have the, have the abil ability to go. But when we are not connected to our divine feminine, because our channels are blocked and we're not meditating every day and we're not commanding our energy into being right, we're not tuning into how we wish to feel right. Then the difficulty is that when, when change happens or when we experience change, we, we, we're uncertain of how to move forward with that changing of energy. It's generally because we're holding on to pain from our past as a three of swords in reverse, right? So for the change you're looking to receive for the more money you're looking to attract in for the higher states of love, you're looking to feel right. Everything, everything, everything boils down to how are you feeling? More importantly, are the choices you're making, uh, uh, synchronized with how you wish to feel. So if you wish to feel, 
abundant and attract money and, and even love in, you have to feel that way. And that means if you're ingesting foods that are toxic, that don't make you feel very good, if you're speaking words or be in an environment that is low vibe, complaining, um, aggressive, rude, then your frequency is going to be lowered. You see, you won't feel very abundant, right? And so the name of the game is to understand the very first step is again to reconnect to your divine feminine energy through meditation, through self-love, through self-care, sitting with oneself, talking with oneself, getting to know oneself, becoming oneself's best friend, right? Then what is going to happen is you're very quickly going to start to tune into what your heart's true desires are. When your heart's true desires come to fruition, then the beautiful energy of the divine masculine can apply the, the best steps to do that. Um, but if we are not connected to our divine feminine energy, uh, connecting to the highest timeline or best case scenario, we are going to very quickly be stuck in our lives, right? Because we are not we are, we are only seeing things from a certain timeline. You see, does this make sense? So that's why it's really, really important that we connect to that part of us that trusts in the unknown, that trusts in the what not yet has been available for us, right? That trusts that, well, even though I've never experienced this before, I desire to, and it's possible for me. That's the divine feminine, the highest timeline, right? But when we are not connected to that, uh, we feel quite, mm, we feel quite um, unmagical, uh, it, things are not possible. Again, it's very logical, right? And, and it's just, it's not very fun. It's not very fun. And when we're not having fun, our energy isn't very open. And when our energy is not open, uh, we're overthinking things, we're logically trying to figure things out, right? And, and, and then we're, we're, we're feeling very stuck because we feel hindered, right? We feel hindered because it's like, well, I only know this. I've only been through these experiences. Logically, how am I ever going to make more money? Logically, I have this nine to five job. How am I ever going to make more money? Logically, I am, I've always been overweight. I've never lost weight. How am I ever going to lose this weight? I've tried everything, right? That's the logical masculine mind. You need to reconnect to the feminine, beautiful soul so that you can receive the guidance from the unknown, okay? And this is what we're experiencing here with the Five of Cups and the Ten of Swords is that it's time to do things differently now, okay? There's been, we've, you've experienced the disappointment and the polarity of what you don't want. It's time to set your focus to a higher timeline to get in more and to receive more so that you can uh, you can feel more, right? And that's what it's about right now. So please, please, play as universe is saying, understand that there is a part of you that holds all of the wisdom and all of the answers that you seek, everything. But you got to connect to that part of you. That's a daily 20 minute meditation, okay? That is actively saying, when you're in a state of overthinking, worry, stress, instead of going to eat, uh, pick something to eat to emotionally heal that instead, or emotionally take care of that, filter that, go for a walk in nature, get outside, get your body moving, right? Movement is always how we, un uh, how we clear away our channels, right? And so in order for us to have it be a clear channel, our energy has to feel clean. And so we want you to start looking at food instead of food itself. We want you to start looking at food as a frequency or a vibration. So when you consume something, Gem, how does it make you feel, right? Instead of, well, you know, the label says it's healthy. Well, you know, the package says it's low carbohydrate. Well, you know, this and that, right? The ingredients are healthy, right? We want you to instead interpret the feeling. How does it make you feel? And that's why when we simplify what we eat, uh, it's much easier for us to interpret that. If we're eating this huge plate full of so many different ingredients, it's going to be difficult for us to be able to understand the information we're receiving, right? And so uh, throughout your journey here as your path as a healer, as a light worker, as being of service to others, right? The first step is to be a healer for yourself. Become your own healer. Become your own healer because it's going to be the most beneficial journey you could ever walk down because that's what's going to guide you towards all abundance and unlock all money blocks and all love blocks you may have for yourself, right? So... Start to look at yourself as this, 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 this golden pot of gold, really, right? And in order to access your gold, you have to get to know yourself, right? And know what works for you and know how can I feel my highest joy? How is it that I can connect to my best case scenario? And it's always going to boil down to how good you feel, right? 
So your angels are coming forward with the message here of time to go. So your angels are saying the sun sets and rises each day and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle. See if something is coming to an end in your life, this is a good thing. Don't connect to the ending, connect to the new beginning. You see the higher timeline, the best case scenario. Everything happens for a reason. There are no coincidences here. So right now it's really just about remaining consistent with where the energy is pulling you right now. Sure. You may have been working on something. It doesn't feel like you're, you're, it doesn't feel like it's feeling good anymore. Okay. The energy is shut down. Then you've learned everything you've had to learn. Where is the energy pulling you? Where are you being guided? What feels good for you? What brings you joy? This is what we want you to energetically connect with, right? Always pay attention to how you feel and trust that that is the, the organic process of the universe's uh, transition, right? So pay attention to your intuition, how you feel and trust that universe is guiding you. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was like share and subscribe, we truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.